guess we will start the webinar as it is. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining our webinar uh, for today, uh, hosted by Revius Academy and uh, Cambodia Chamber of Commerce and curated by Up Your Game 2016. So today, the topic that we are presenting will be how to earn money on YouTube. Okay. You can find us on our social media, uh, Revius Academy, our website, Facebook, YouTube, and Telegram. So you can follow us on uh, all these media. Uh, so with um, over 2 billion uh, active users and 1 billion hours of video being watched daily and the ability to advertise, earn advertising revenue, YouTube has become a viable option for content creators to earn between 5 to 7 figures up annually. So in this session, uh, Mr. Jit will share with us how he can grow uh, his channel to attract over uh, 300 over 1,000 subscribers and how to best monetize content on YouTube. Uh, Mr. Jit Puru is a professional speaker and founder of Ideas and Inspiration, an initiative to move people towards self-development and positive changes through inspirational and educational content. So over the last two years, the Idea and Inspiration YouTube channel has grown to attract over 330,000 subscribers globally, with video on channel and being viewed over 7 million times. So without further ado, let us welcome uh, Mr. Jit to give us the topic. Yep. Jit, to you, thank you. Hello, hi. Hi, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Okay, just to get up, can you all, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, let me see. How do I see myself as well? Okay, just give me a minute, yeah. Okay, I can stop your screen share, right? Yeah, correct. You stop my stop, I will stop sharing, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've got everything here under control. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Thank you for having me here today at this webinar to speak about how we can grow our YouTube channel. And as Mr. Nye mentioned just now, um, YouTube has become a very popular option. All right, so I think a lot of us are, you know, we are used to using YouTube to, to look through content, to learn things for entertainment. But a lot of us are also now realizing of the potential that YouTube can bring if you are a content creator, which means we can create content. And just give me a minute. Okay. You know, so um, we can create content for YouTube. And uh, let me just see this. Okay, right. so that's kind of, all right. So um, YouTube has become a viable option, not just to serve content and look for content and information, but we can also now become content creators on YouTube. And that means we can create content for other people to consume, other people to watch. And at the same time, we can actually take advantage of this platform itself to earn money from YouTube. You know, uh, YouTube itself, there's over two billion active users these days and every day about 1 billion hours are being watched you know and YouTube is the second largest search engine today in the world after Google you know and Google owns YouTube so in other words right anytime someone is on Google searching for something uh, one of the results that is can possibly come out is actually YouTube results and that is why on top of having like a, let's just say if you're marketing a product, you're selling something or you have a service that you're selling on top of just having a website and creating search engine optimization for your website, it is also a very good practice for you to start having a YouTube channel so that you become more discoverable 
and you can take advantage of the platform itself, which is YouTube for your search engine. Uh, but on top of that, not just for marketing your products and your service, you can also earn revenue, earn money through YouTube. And that is really what I want to share with you today in this next uh, 40 minutes or so, 40, 45 minutes, where I want to share with you some of the different ways that you can earn money on YouTube. And one particular way that I'd like to share for those who don't know, which is how to earn through ad revenues. So I started my YouTube channel in 2018. I'm going to show you what the channel is in a bit. And from 2018 to now, this channel has grown in popularity. Of course, it started with no subscribers. Right now, two and a half years later, almost three years, this channel now has about 330,000 subscribers. And this channel right now is earning a good revenue every month. So much so that this is my full-time job now. You know, I create content for the channel. I help other people create content for their channel as well. And we strategize and we find ways to best monetize their channel. Okay, so uh, let me just share some stuff with you. Let me just get my, my slides up. Screen share. Okay, there we go, All right? So how to best monetize your content on YouTube, All right? So there's a few monetization options when you are on YouTube. If you are creating videos on YouTube, there is a few ways that you can make money from these videos, All right? First, there is the advertising revenue, you know, and then there's channel membership. Then there's also merchandising shelf. Then there's super chat and super sticker functions, which I'm not really get into, going to get into very deep and the YouTube premium revenue. These are some ways that you can earn money, but the most basic way or the, the start of all of this is actually through advertising revenue. So what do I mean by advertising revenue? Okay, and let me just show you what I mean by advertising revenue. Let's just say if we were to go to YouTube right now, let me get my YouTube window open, okay? All right, so let's just say we were to go to YouTube right now. Okay, and this is my channel, right? If you go to YouTube and if you type ideas and inspiration, this is my channel. And if you go to a channel like mine, okay? So as you can see, there are a lot of videos on my channel, all kinds of content that we have created over the years. So say, for example, if you were to click on one video, so I'm going to click on this first video here, which is a proven technique to overcome stress, anxiety, and depression. So when Listen, I click- we found this product at $1.50 and sold it at $18 and we sold- do you notice that that the moment I click on that video, my video doesn't start automatically. What happens is that what you're first seeing is an advertisement. Because my channel has already qualified to be part of the YouTube partner program, I have turned on advertisements for to play at the beginning of all my videos. So YouTube now will place the best advertisement based on the people who are watching my videos in front of my videos. So this is the same thing like, you know, even when you go to YouTube and you're watching some other videos and you notice that whenever the start of the video, some, some of the videos, an advertisement plays in the beginning and after about five seconds, you can actually skip that advertisement, All right? So this is advertisers who have paid YouTube so that their advertisement appears. So whatever YouTube earns from the advertiser, whatever YouTube charges the advertiser, YouTube now gives the content creator a portion of it. You know? And if I remember correctly, I think it's about 50 over percent or 60 percent is what YouTube gives me. So they share the revenue with me because I am the content creator. So if you were to watch- 3,500 right minutes. Place, to be right? honest, and we don't even need to just skip the ad. Help. And, and they take away the joy from your to my video. Stress, well. anxiety, right. and depression so, can come to any one of us today. And when they are arrive, they so every time someone watches my video on my channel, and when they see an ad in the beginning, this is how I earn money. All right. So that is what I mean by ad revenue. So the question is this: how much money can you earn on YouTube? And it's actually a numbers game. YouTube pays uh, the content creators by number of views, not number of subscribers. Meaning I can have 300 over thousand subscribers 
But if none of my subscribers are watching my videos, guess what? I'm not going to make any money. All right. At the same time, I may have, let's just say, only 10,000 subscribers. But if every one of my subscribers watch every one of my video, that means I always will be making money. All right. So how much can you get paid on average? All right. On average, because different videos uh, tend to earn different amounts depending on how much advertisers want to pay. But on average, every a simple way to remember is this: every one thousand views, every one thousand views, you will get about three dollars. Okay, so it may not seem like a lot because it really isn't a lot. Uh, but that is why in YouTube you must make sure that your video gets a lot of views because if you do the numbers right, one thousand views, three dollars; ten thousand views, that's thirty dollars. If it's 100,000 views, $300, and 1 million views, $3,000. Okay, so that's a simple way to, to just know what your target should be and what is the potential amount you can possibly earn. So that is why a lot of content creators with, with, uh, with, who are making good money, right? If you notice, each one of their videos they get a lot of views from 50,000 views to 100,000 views, 200,000 views, you know, and, and consistently they release a lot of videos every week and they have to work on volume, meaning people must be watching their videos. All right, so let me just get my slides out again. Okay, so advertising revenue is what we really want to focus on today because channel membership these are uh, these are the other functions that means once you qualify for advertising revenue and then as your subscription grows and your followers grow then you get access to other features as well things like channel membership where you can have a uh, you can have a section of your channel that is paid for you know where it's not available for the public only people who subscribe as a member can now watch this content uh you get access to a merchandising shelf as well where you can actually sell products in youtube itself and and earn money from that and then whenever you're doing live videos because youtube has a feature for youtube live as well and in the youtube live feature yeah it's actually a way to make money through super chat and super stickers where your followers can actually buy stickers you know or or contribute or donate certain amounts to you for the for the work that you're doing of course you need a large following for that as well and then there's youtube premium revenue okay so Again, we are just going to focus a little bit on advertising revenue because this is the entry point. You must, if you want to earn money through YouTube, or at least if you want to earn money through ad revenue, you must first qualify for the YouTube partner program. And that is what you must know. So how do you, what are the qualifying criteria to be a YouTube partner? Okay, so first of all, you must follow all of YouTube's monetization policy so if you go to youtube and if you just if you go to google and you just type youtube partner program a few links will come out and not, the first one should be about how to qualify for it all right and then they will have all the policies you must follow and adhere to all the youtube monetization policies okay and then of course you must live in a country or a region where the youtube partner program is available so a lot of countries right now do have that option. So wherever you are, you must check whether this option is available for your country. Okay, And if it is available, that means now you can start your channel, you can start creating content, and then you can start working your way towards qualifying for the YouTube Partner Program. You can only earn money to add revenues once you qualify for the YouTube Partner Program. So how do you qualify for the YouTube Partner Program? two very important criteria. One, you need a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. Meaning, if you have less than 1,000 subscribers, your first job is to get uh, the word out, get that awareness and, and sh create quality content so that more people are subscribing to your videos, uh, sorry, to your channel. And you must have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. On top of 1,000 subscribers, you must have 4,000 watch hours. Okay, what that means is this, the people who have subscribed to your channel or the people who are viewing your videos must have watched your content, the content that you have created for at least 4,000 hours in under a year. Meaning, you must be creating content regularly. 
because the reason why this criteria is set is because YouTube wants to make sure that they have active content creators. That means not content creators who are just creating like, let's just say one video every six months, you know, and, and then not being very active in it. They are looking for people who are consistently creating content. And that's also the reason why you want to create a lot of content. Because if you think about it, right, let's just say if you create one video and that video is 10 minutes long, and you need 4,000 hours to qualify for the partner program. And if you've only got one video that's 10 minutes, how many times must people watch this one video before you get 4,000 hours? You know, and the answer is quite a lot, right? Because 10 minutes, if on average you just take that people, let's just say, uh, watch half your video. Everyone who watches your video only watches five minutes of your video. So how many views? 10 people, 12 people must watch to get one hour. Right, so how many people? So you do the math. But if you are creating content consistently, say for example, one video a week at a minimum, and each video is about 10 to 15 minutes, the length that you're making, which means you now stand a higher chance or a faster trajectory to, to get that watch hours. Okay, so, um, so just remember that the qualifying criteria is 1,000 subscribers minimum and 4,000 watch hours. And once you have this, you now can qualify, or at least you can apply for the YouTube Partner Program. Then YouTube will review your channel and then YouTube will let you know if you qualify or not. If you've been accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, you can now turn on advertisements. And advertisements is like what you saw just now. Before the start of every video, an ad can pop up. You can even select whether you want ads to start to, to appear at the start of your video, during your video, in between, or after your video, or you can have a combination of all of this. So this, you have flexibility. So for me, for my videos, mostly I just put before the start of the video and after the video, because I don't want that interruption in between. But this is, this is up to you. See what works best for you. Okay, so um, there's, there's, there's a lot that I can honestly share about YouTube and how to optimize your channel to earn better to gain that audience. Uh, but having said that, we also don't have a lot of time today. So if at any point of time you've got any questions, right? if you have any questions, just feel free to put forth them because one of the best ways to learn also is through questions. And um, let me just check, you know, if there's questions, I will answer those questions straight away. Yeah, gee, there's two questions. There's two questions. Okay, just give me a minute. Let me just go to the Q&A box. All right. So, um, I've got two questions so far. The first question is this. How long will the video in the ad has to be watched before it is considered that the ad has been watched and thus the ad dollars is earned? Okay. The reality is this, right? As long as the ad pops up and if, they, if you watch that ad and even if you do the skip ad, because skip ad is an option. So there are, there are a few different options. There's the skippable ads and the ads that you cannot skip. Uh, but as long as you are watching the ads, right, even if people skip the ad after five seconds, it's fine. That is still considered as earnings. So you will still get the advertising dollars, right? But what you need to remember also is this. Um, you also only get it when your video is counted as a view. So more importantly, right, you think you've got to understand what uh, constitute as a view. So let's just say if you go to my channel and you watch my video, um, for it to be counted as a view, you must watch my video for at least 30 seconds. So if you click away, let's just say you only watch my video for 10 seconds or 15 seconds and then you click away, that is not considered as a view. So you must watch the video for at least 30 seconds for it to be considered a view. All right? But for the ads, as long as the ad appears, right? Uh, this is already opportunities for you to earn the ad revenue, even if you skip the ad, right? So I hope that answers the question. If not, uh, you can just ask again. Uh, and the next question, can the channel owner control the type and categories of ads to be shown during playing of the video? Uh, the answer is no. You can't really control what ads is being shown uh, because YouTube's algorithm takes care of this. So what YouTube does is this, they do a little matching system. That means they've got advertisers, who have given a particular uh, budget to YouTube and they've got a particular ad. So what YouTube is going to do is YouTube is going to find the best audience for this advertiser. So normally their matching is quite um, accurate. So, so if for example, if my video is on finance, 
let's just say I'm doing, a, I have a video that says, you know, the three best practices for you to, to have a better, to, for better financial stability. So because my video is about finance, YouTube recognizes that this is a video on finance. So now YouTube will place advertisements that is also finance related because the people who are watching the video are interested in finance, right? So it only makes sense that finance related advertisements show up before that video, okay? So what can also happen is this. So say for example, you yourself uh, have a, a financial product that you're selling, let's just say. But what can happen now is because you created a video on finance, some of your competitors' videos or uh, advertisements can show up before your video. So that's, that's a real possibility. So that is why I think the planning stage is very important when you're starting a YouTube channel. You must ask yourself, what is the purpose of this channel? What is the purpose you're starting this channel? Are you starting this channel to sell a product or a service? Or are you starting this channel to be a YouTube content creator and earn advertisement revenue? Because if your goal is to sell a product and service, then you may not want to turn on advertisements because you don't want your competitors' advertisements showing up before your videos because you want to sell your own product and your own service. But if you want to earn YouTube advertising revenue, then you must be okay with other people's advertisements showing up. All right. So uh, YouTube will do the matching in terms of the category and the type of ads that show up. You don't have control over that. Right, but the control comes from the kind of videos that you're making. Right, so um, let's see what's the next question. All right, um, may you please kindly any details or strategy for making people subscribe to our channel? Okay, um, yes, there is a strategy for making people subscribe to your channel, and there's actually a few ways where you can you can get more subscribers to your channel. But most importantly, right, and this is really the most important strategy and sometimes it is the strategy that is always overlooked and that is to ask people to subscribe to your channel so if you were to go to to channels that has got a lot of content a lot of subscribers so what i like to do is this i always like to model other channels channels who are doing very well so like i said i've got about 300 over thousand subscribers but there are so many channels out there who've got 1 million subscribers 10 million subscribers 20 million subscribers and i'm always looking at hey what are they doing differently how are they getting more subscribers but there's always one consistent strategy that most channels will use and that strategy is to ask people to subscribe to the channel because you must remember this there will be a point of time where your channel will go viral youtube will start suggesting your channel and your videos to other people but in the beginning right you must do this for yourself you must be the one creating organic growth and traffic so um what i did when i first started my channel is this um whenever i used to run an event or whenever i run sessions like this webinars i'll always tell people about my channel and i say you know what there's some great content on my channel educational inspirational stuff do check it out and if you like the content please subscribe to the channel right because we create i i release at least about two videos a month you know and it's great content so go and subscribe to the channel right so uh asking is a great way and then the other thing is this in your videos that you are creating each video that you create you must ask the viewer to subscribe to your channel all right and this is when sometimes i get this question people will say that why, why should we ask people to subscribe in the video because the people who are watching are they already subscribers to our channel and the answer is no because you will get some organic traffic going to your videos as well where people have not seen your videos but because they are looking for a certain topic they did a search and maybe your video showed up and you cannot assume that everyone who watches your videos are already your subscribers so that is why in your video you must be very clear about asking your viewers to subscribe to your channel and there's a few different ways you can do it all right uh for example you can ask them to subscribe in the very beginning itself for example at the start of the video you could just say hey you know what my name is jit uh welcome to this video in this in my channel i talk about inspirational and educational stuff and if you like inspirational and educational content on a weekly basis do consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get alerts okay so today's video is about how to be more productive in life and then i get into the video 
So that means very early on, I tell people what my channel is about. Okay, you must, or you must tell people what your channel is about because only then people will know whether this is something that's going to add value to their life or not. Is this something that they are going to be interested in or not? All right. There are some strategies where people ask for the subscriptions at the end. That also works. But for that to happen, right, you must make sure that your content is so engaging, so much of value that people actually stick all the way to the end before you ask them to subscribe. So a lot of trial and error is involved and you've got to experiment with the kind of content that you're making. All right. But if you are... I would say if you are running a new channel where you've got maybe very little subscribers, I would suggest that you ask people to subscribe very early on. But always tell people what your channel is about first. All right? Tell people when the video starts, you know, introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Jit. Uh, welcome to my channel. In this channel, uh, I make videos about inspirational and educational stuff. If you like inspirational and educational stuff, do consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you get alerts. Very simple script, you know, and you can use this script and then get into your video, right? Um, so what's next? Um, what's the kind of content that people review the most? Um, let's see. What, let me try to understand that question a little bit. That means what is the kind of content that people like to watch, I suppose? Um, well, the reality is this, right? Okay, so that's right. So what's the kind of content that people like to watch? Okay, so the reality is this. YouTube is global, right? Meaning anyone from anywhere all over the world can watch your content. But if you are going to be creating content that is specific to your demographic, your market, say, say for example, a lot of you are in Cambodia right now. And let's just say you're going to create content uh, for Cambodian, for, for the Cambodian market or for the Cambodian people, right? Uh, and it could be in your language as well. So then you must ask yourself in your region itself, okay, or in your area, what is the kind of content that people like watching? You know, so you must do a bit of research to see, you know, what kind of channels get a lot of views, you know, and I'll give you an example. Okay, my channel is, uh, like I mentioned, um, I'm based in Singapore. I'm based in Singapore, all my content is created in Singapore. I used to run my events live in Singapore as well. And my channel has got a lot of educational and inspirational content. Okay? I've got 330,000 subscribers and I've got videos that's been viewed over 6 million times. And most of my videos get about five to 10,000 views you know, on average. While I've got 330,000 subscribers, okay, only 200 plus subscribers out of 330,000 are from Singapore. You know, it's, it's, it's very strange. Okay. So in the beginning, I was always wondering, why is it that my most of my subscribers are coming from overseas? You know, about 40% of my subscribers are from India, you know, and then we've got the U S and then I've got Indonesia, I've got Malaysia. Um, so I've got so much of subscribers from so many different countries but not from Singapore. I've only got 200 subscribers from Singapore. But after some time, after learning more about, like say the audience sentiments and what people generally like to watch, what I realized is this. In Singapore, a lot of people, the, the behavior of people who are consuming content on YouTube, in Singapore, people who are surfing YouTube looking for content um, are generally looking for more entertainment based videos all right so which means if you are creating a channel let's just say that's going to that that's going to serve this need of entertainment all right you're going to get a larger audience here in singapore compared to the kind of channel that i have all right where i'm getting a larger audience from from countries like india from indonesia from malaysia where their viewing behavior is more geared towards uh, educational and inspirational stuff Okay, so if you were to ask me what kind of content can get a lot of views, the answer is any content can get a lot of views because there is always going to be someone in some part of the world who likes the kind of content that you're making. So the real question now becomes, you know, who is it that you want to target? If you want to target within your region, then you must be very, you must do your research to find out what is the kind of videos that people in your region like watching. Okay, uh, my advice for new content creators normally is this. Let's just say if you've really got no clue 
on what kind of content you want to make for your channel. You've got no clue at all and you're just thinking, you know, maybe you want to make something. Uh, my advice always is this, you know, try doing how-to videos. Because remember, um, YouTube is a search engine, right? So these days, a lot of people, even when they want to learn how to do something, they actually go to YouTube and they search how to do something. Okay? So even for example, you know, how to, how to start a YouTube channel. You can actually go to YouTube and you can type that and you'll get a lot of videos coming up. All right. So if you're not too sure what kind of a channel you want to start, start maybe thinking about you know, a how-to channel where you can now share some form of knowledge to someone else. Okay. So I hope that answers that question. Okay. Do we have any other questions so far? Okay. If there's no questions, just, just keep it coming. I will just go on uh, a little bit more on my site. Sir. But if you have questions, feel free to ask those questions. Okay. So let me get back to my slides. Okay. Okay. So how to best monetize how to best monetize your content on YouTube? First and foremost, this is very important, okay? Um, you must create quality content. What I mean by quality content is that your the content that you're creating right for YouTube must add value to the viewer. All right. It must add value to the viewer. It must be something that the viewer enjoys watching. It must be something that the viewers feels that uh, they are, they are, maybe they're learning something or they're being entertained and it's serving the needs, their needs. Because only then will they be more encouraged to, to continue subscribing to your channel and to watch more of your videos. So you must create quality content. And this is the the basic, basic thing. So how do you create quality content, right? So again, uh, I answered this a little bit just now. You must first create kind of, kind of content that your viewers want to watch. So first, always identify who your target market is, right? Identify who your target market is. Ask yourself, what is this problem that you're trying to solve and who are you trying to solve it for? Okay, so say for example, you are you you want to start an entertain yeah an entertainment based channel where you are creating videos that's going to help make people laugh, right? That means your target market is people who want to laugh, and the problem that you're trying to solve is uh, boredom maybe, all right? So then you can create the kind of videos. Say for example, as an educator, you know, let's just say you are a digital marketer. Right? And you want to help other people be better at digital marketing. And you want to start a channel about digital marketing tips and strategies where every week you're coming up with a new video to help people who don't know anything about digital marketing so that they can be better at it. Right? So then you can create a content map. That means a topic map of all the videos that you're going to create in the next, let's just say one to three months so that every week you can start shooting a new video, you can edit it and you can slowly release it. Right? But it must start with quality content, content that's going to add value to people's lives. All right? Next, all right, how to best monetize? You must get views. You must get views. Uh, let me just pull this away. All right? But how do you get views? How do you get views for your channel? All right? So, um, you in the beginning, I mentioned this before, right? Um, there will come a point if your video goes viral, you will be getting views automatically. It means YouTube will be suggesting this video to others. So let me just show you an example, okay? Let me show you an example. Let me go to YouTube. And... Okay, so for example, we are on YouTube right now. Okay, do you notice that on YouTube itself, uh, where the main video is here, and this main video can be playing? Right? Go away, you turn off the mute, all right? So, this main video is playing here, all right? And this is something that I clicked and watching. But you see on the right hand side of the video, uh, there is all these suggested videos. That means the next video that the YouTube is showing is suggesting to me. So, this is how YouTube uh, recommends a video to you so that you will watch again. So what happens with this recommendation is this is called suggested videos and YouTube will suggest 
videos that YouTube thinks the viewer will enjoy watching. But YouTube is only going to suggest videos that, that have already a sense of popularity. Meaning, if let's just say you have a video and your video only has maybe 10 views, nobody has liked your videos, nobody has commented on the video, the chances are YouTube is not going to suggest this video to other people because YouTube just takes it as, you know what, hey, this video is not popular. Videos that are not popular, YouTube is not going to suggest. So that is why in the beginning, whenever you have a new video that's up in the beginning, right, you must actually uh, push this video out to your own network, to maybe certain forums, certain discussion groups. You must encourage people to like your video, encourage people to comment on your videos, to share your videos, because what you're doing is this. You want to show uh, YouTube that your video is popular, your video is good, your video is great. People like watching your videos because the moment YouTube's algorithm latches onto your video, it's going to suggest your video to more and more people. And that's how you get your hundreds of thousands of views is through YouTube suggestion. Because the reality is this, right? We may know a few hundred people, maybe even a thousand people, but we do we really know a hundred thousand people or one million people, you know? And if we are going to try to get a million views, we need YouTube's help, right? So there are many different strategies that we can also put to get uh, YouTube to flag it as a popular content but through engagement is one of the best ways so whenever you upload a new video uh, my recommendation is this always push it out to your existing network first and encourage your network to watch the video all the way to full you know encourage them to ask questions you know after watching it you know they can ask questions they can leave a comment they can say something positive they can like the video and you know share this video with more people so if you do this organically after a while, if the metrics are good, that means if, if whatever markers that YouTube's algorithm is looking for, if it notices that your videos are hitting this marker, YouTube will now try to recommend your video to more people, right? And then YouTube will, will see if people are actually clicking on the video. So this is where things like thumbnails and titles matter. Because if you notice, right, every video has a title, every video has a thumbnail. So what's a thumbnail? A thumbnail is when you're on the home screen like this, the picture that you see, the picture that you see. So the picture that you see, right, is going to, it's going to be the first thing. It's like a book cover, right? If, if you go to a bookstore and you want to buy a book, but there's so many books, right? Always what happens is this, you look for uh, what will catch your eye is the attractive book covers. So same thing for YouTube videos, right? That, that thumbnail image that you put up have got to be attractive so that when people are browsing YouTube and if they see your cover, it may get their interest and then that may want them to see what the topic is, right? So two very important things to get uh, people to click on your video is one, your thumbnail photo. Design good thumbnail photos. Go to, uh, go to places like canva.com. You know, where if you're not a designer, it is very easy to design. If you're a designer, then you may have illustrators and, and you can create your own thumbnails, all right? But I personally use Canva and I go to Canva and I create thumbnails there. So once you have an attractive thumbnail and then you want to pay attention to the title of your video, what I always share with people is that make sure that whatever your title is, is something that is easy to understand. You know, it gives people straight away people will know what your video is about based on your title and it must be easy for people to search so say for example if your video is on how to make cupcakes um, then the title of your video should be how to make cupcakes so that if people who want to learn how to make cupcakes if they go to youtube and they search how to make cupcakes hopefully your video will show up and if you have an attractive thumbnail an attractive picture people may actually click to watch your video okay so so yeah, so that's it. Uh, let me see, I think we have a question, all right? Uh, how to prepare the post, sorry, what is this, post tag or page? Correct to the video content. To the I think it should be post tag. Okay. Post tag meaning, uh, uh, maybe you can help me explain this, all right? Um, Ling, Ling Sokrin, yeah, if you're there, uh, just help me understand what do you mean by uh, post tech, all right? So because, yeah, there's a few things you need to do because if you're talking about tags of the video, 
um, because there is a segment when you upload a video, you can actually put tags for your video so that YouTube kind of knows what kind of, because there's categories that you need to select. At the same time, you can add tags so that if people are searching through tags, uh, they, they, your videos can show up as well. Then you mean hashtag. Yeah. Okay, so tags of the video, not hashtags, right? Okay. So tags of the video. So for example, if you do a, if you do a video, uh, like for example, the video that I did just now on mental health, on how to overcome stress, anxiety, and depression. That is the video, right? So in the tags for that video, I want to make sure, I want to know what are all the trending tags for that topic. So for example, things like mental wellness, you know, uh, depression, anxiety, mental health, um, emotional mastery. These are all popular tags that I want to put for that video so that it's going to help with the searchability. So that if people are searching for keywords on YouTube itself, my tags that I put can actually help my video show up. Okay, so I hope that answers that question. Okay. So, um, let me see. So what else can I share with you about YouTube itself? Uh, wait, there's another question, I think. Okay, sorry, that's not a question. Yeah, all right. So there are many, there are many different strategies you can apply uh, when you are starting a new YouTube channel on how to how to earn revenue. Because the reality is, right, uh, the potential of earning on YouTube is really very high. Uh, the story that came out a few years ago, uh, I think it was last year or the year before, the highest earning YouTuber, uh, YouTube content creator is an eight-year-old boy who made $28 million just with his YouTube channel through ad revenues. Okay, so the potential is there and high earning content creators earn easily between, you know, uh, 10 to 20,000 a month through YouTube videos. But a lot of it is about consistency. It's about identifying who your target market is, what kind of videos are you making, pushing out that videos organically so you get that reach. And most importantly, it's got to be quality content targeted at a specific type of audience who are going to become your followers. And these are the followers who will support you and they will keep watching your videos. All right. So the question normally people have is this. Do they make a channel that is very specific to a topic or do they make a channel that's quite broad? And the reality is this, right? When your channel is specific, say for example, your, you've got a fitness channel and you're, every week you're creating videos on how people can do simple home exercises. If your channel is specific, then what happens is this. People who come to your channel will realize that, you know what, this is what your channel is about. And if I'm interested in this kind of a content, I will subscribe to this channel and I'll get regular updates, you know. So it makes it easier for people to understand what your channel is about compared to a channel that, that no one knows what your channel is about. You know, then it becomes a little harder to communicate to people what is it about. Okay, so um, early on, uh, I just got a thought early on, one of the questions that I had was, you know, what kind of content that people like watching, right? So, okay, in general, and I'm talking about just looking at, looking at the analytics that YouTube generally uh, shares or you can do your research. In general, uh, the kind of channels that are very popular, like very, very popular, things like fitness channels, uh, these are actually very popular. Uh, cooking channels, these are very popular as well. If you can go, there are a lot of different kinds of cooking channels and fitness channels that generally get a lot of views. But if you're going to start one of these channels which are already popular, you must also start asking yourself, what is something new you can bring to the table? You know, Or maybe it's just you're targeting a different target market and that means it's okay to replicate certain things. But these are some popular channels as well. And of course, how-to channels, okay? So um, let's see, we're at about 11.50 right now. Uh, like I said, there's a lot I can share about YouTube and even how to create engaging content, how to grow your channel. Um, but do you have any questions for me? Something that, that you may want to know that I may not have had the time to cover, okay? Um, because looking at the slide that I have at Elf, uh, let me see. 
if you want to get more views for your videos, okay, um, you must share your content. You must share your content. That is very important. And you must ask for subscribers. Okay. And one thing here, which I didn't share really just now was about joining forums and discussion groups. Okay. Here's a bad practice about getting more views. And this is a very bad practice. Okay. Because I see this happening all the time on YouTube where people go to other people's channel and write in the comments of the videos that they create. Hey, you know what? Uh, I also have a video on this topic. Go to my channel and watch this video and they put the link to the video. Just know that this is considered spam. And in accordance to the YouTube's uh, policies and all that, they actually, they, um, they discourage spamming content like this. So whenever you go to another channel and you put links to your videos, guess what your comment is being flagged as spam and you can actually get blacklisted after a while you know people can actually report you people can delete your post and it actually does you more harm than it does you any good right so what's the better way to do it is to join discussion forums and really see hey you know what if people have a genuine question and they're looking for an answer and let's just say if you have videos that can that can answer that you know, use that as a platform to answer those questions first and then share your video, All right? So that's what I mean by joining forums and discussion groups. So that's a great way to push your content out as well. So another way is that you've got to have a good um, email, email uh, database in the beginning. So when you're creating new videos, you can always send an email blast to all your followers. You can do cross-platform marketing. Meaning, if you create a video on YouTube and you put your video on your channel, uh, do share it on the other social media platforms as well. You know, go to your Facebook, go to your Instagram, go to your Twitter, you know, and share about your video there because then you can get more people uh, coming to your YouTube channel, right? But when you're new, always remember, ask people to subscribe to your channel because as your subscribers grow, uh, the chances are that your views will also grow. And when your views grow, you can then quali qualify for monetization. You will get your 1,000 subscribers, you'll get your 4,000 watch hours, and then you can start earning. And like I said, every 1,000 views is about $3. So you must work on the volume. You know, If you want to make $3,000, then you must get 1 million views. Yeah? Okay, so let's see. Do we have another question here? Okay, mistakes to avoid when starting out. Uh, that's a very good question. Okay, mistakes to avoid when starting out is, well, there can be so many little mistakes. Let me try to think what is the most common mistakes when starting out. Okay, no, consistent, no consistency in creating videos. Okay, so you think about your channel, okay, as a, for example, a TV channel, all right? And think about your channel as like a TV show. So let's just say you are following a particular TV show and if this week one episode comes out and you really like that episode and then now you're eagerly waiting for the next episode and then the next episode doesn't come out the following week. It comes out the following month or even worse, the month after. So what happens is that me as the viewer, I get irritated. I get fed up because you know what? I really like this, but they're not coming up content fast enough. So you know what am I going to do? I'm going to look for other channels with this similar content to follow and to subscribe because they are more consistent in their content. So one of the mistakes that new content creators make is they don't have a release schedule in the beginning and they lack consistency in releasing videos. So a good practice, I would say at the very minimum, when your channel is new, you need at least one video to be released every week. Um, top performing content creators release up to three videos every week. Yes, that's a lot of videos for every week. That's 12 videos a month. But this is how you keep your subscribers and your followers and your viewers watching your content. Okay, so the um, first mistake is consistency, lack of consistency. Uh, the next mistake is not having a targeted content. That means not really knowing what, uh, who are the people that you are trying to serve, who are the people that you're trying to help. So when you know who your target market is, you can create um, content that is targeted to help them. Um, what other mistakes that they made? Not learning how to edit videos. Okay, this is very important. Okay, um, you must have some basic editing skills. Don't just put a camera, record yourself talking for 20 minutes and then take that video and put it up on YouTube. 
uh, have a little bit of editing, meaning um, keep the videos tight, keep it nice, keep it, keep it to the point that's going to add value to your viewers and any part that is not necessary or doesn't add value to the viewers, you know, remove all that parts. It's better to have a good tight five minute video rather than a long 20 minute video that people get bored of and click away. You must remember this people, the online audience have the luxury to click away two, three minutes into their video, if they find that, you know what, your video is not adding value to them, you're not getting to the point, you're not sharing what is important, it is not visually engaging, it is not capturing their attention, you know what are they going to do? They're going to click away to the next video because remember, by the site there is suggested videos, people can click away very easily. Okay, so make sure you learn some basic editing skills uh, so that you can, you can just, just, make the editing process a little tighter okay so uh can i recommend a free video edit program okay if you are using a macbook all right so i'm using a macbook i'm using an apple product okay if you're using an apple macbook within macbook itself there is a free software called imovie so in the past i was using imovie to do all my editing and it's actually very good it's very powerful uh if you're using a windows pc i don't know if windows movie maker is still around but many years ago when i was using windows i was using that okay but let's just say if you don't want to use that uh, windows movie maker or imovie there is actually a very powerful video editing software called da vinci resolve it is very powerful but it is also very complicated you must learn how to use it because it's a full-fledged editing software okay so you can look into these few options as well plus i think there's a lot of apps now you know a lot of mobile apps and also uh yeah mobile apps you can go to the app store and you can actually go and look at some basic editing softwares and some of them are free right so so look into that as well okay so um any other questions you have for me right um we are considering doing uh more we are considering doing more uh sessions on helping people to to get a youtube channel started up and all that so but we are still in the discussion stage if the interest is there we may run we may run some training programs on this so if you are interested in learning more about starting a youtube channel and learning what are some of the best practices to start and all that uh do let do do state your interests you know let rivers know the and and we can plan when we can start a, a training session on this if the interest is there i'll be more than happy to do it okay so with that i think uh we have come almost close to the end of the webinar itself i really hope i managed to share some important things and get you started on your journey towards being a youtube content creator uh if you have any questions please feel free to to put them now in the next five minutes or so if not we will bring the webinar to a close and last but not least please uh remember to subscribe to my youtube channel go to ideas and inspiration we really do have a lot of great content there so just go and subscribe and and turn on that notification bell okay so with that uh thank you so much and we're back to you yep thank you jit for the talk uh and not to worry uh, for video editing, we are going to have a webinar on uh, how to do video editing uh, probably next uh, next quarter. So look out for it.